What's up, everyone? It's Bones here. If you like buying cards and wouldn't mind helping a content creator out, feel free to use my TCG Player affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you anything to do so, except maybe an ounce of kindness. In Legacy of Destruction, we got some really cool cards for Memento, and I'm going to be starting this one with the Memento Bone Party and any other Memento monsters. We're just going to pop the tattoo here in order to get ourselves the Anguish, and now we'll use the effect of Anguish in order to get the search on the draw phase, successfully playing around Droll Getter ourselves the dark blade and now we can normal summon the dark blade get out the mace from our deck so that we can use the mace on field pop it and then we'll be able to get ourselves another search for our first new card this is the memento fusion it's a quick play spell that reads during the main phase fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material including a memento monster if a monster in your possession was destroyed by card effect this turn you can also shuffle memento monsters from your graveyard into the deck as material during your main phase you can banish this card from your graveyard Graveyard, destroy one monster you control, and if you do, add one memento spell trap from your deck to your hand, and that even means that you can add another copy of itself, so this is almost like a custom card for the archetype, which was really needed in my opinion, but you can only use each effect of the fusion once per turn. Now, we're going to continue here by activating the fusion, and now because we did destroy stuff earlier this turn, we can shuffle materials back to our deck from the graveyard in order to bring out our next new card, the memento twin dragon, and this takes two memento monsters, it reads, any monster destroyed by by battle with your memento monster is banished. You can only use each of the following effects of twin dragon once per turn. If this card is fusion summoned, you can destroy one memento monster in your hand or face up field, and if you do, add up to two memento monsters with different names from your deck to your hand. If this fusion summon card is destroyed, you can special summon one level six or lower memento monster from your graveyard. So this is a really nice card as well, just because of the ability to not only be an extender, get yourself follow up, synergizes with the fusion and things like that. So You'll see that we're going to get ourselves our two adds here for the Horn Dragon and the Tatsu. We'll also be able to get a Revival off the Twin Dragon, which will Special Summon back out the Dark Blade. We'll then use the Tatsu. Tatsu can then use its effect on field in order to get some sense to the Graveyard. We'll be sending back the Mace, another Goblin, Attic, as we're going to read the Attic here. I didn't get a chance to go over this last set that we got this in. I was kind of waiting for this one because of how the playstyle changed. And if this card is normal or Special Summoned, you can target one Memento card in your Graveyard, except Gaddick add it to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a memento monster's effect, so that's important to note, you can't just trigger it off the fusion. It has to be a monster effect. You can special summon this card. You can only use each effect of the Gaddick once per turn. Now we're going to continue here by using the effect of Gaddick, and this will be able to revive itself as we're going to get the add back for the mace. And now we can then do our next play here by using the anguish to revive the goblin, and then the goblin will be able to get us some extra sense to the graveyard as we're going to use its effect here sending the combined along with the anguish and now we can use the effect of the fusion in order to pop the dark blade get ourselves another copy of fusion as we'll then be able to special summon out the horn dragon now you can go into your sp or you can go into the sprite sprint which is another option that you can do as well and there's a few options that we can do that i'll talk about later on in the video but the first one is going to be the tier laments merly this will give us the ability to go into our dragos depelia shuffling back the twin dragon and this is pretty nice because it's just another way to get back the twin dragon if you can't get it back from the combined but we're then going to be able to get the combined onto the field by special summoning itself returning all those monsters to the graveyard and now for our opponent's turn we have the mace along with the dragos de Pelia. we also have the memento combined and the fusion which can turn into guardian chimera or the twin dragon you also get the potential revival of the anguish and that's pretty cool because it nets you another search as well now for this next one i'll be showing off just dark blade and i kind of want to go go over all the different end boards that you can do with this as the combos are pretty similar it's just different ways to get there as you'll see momentarily but we're going to use the effect of the anguish get ourselves the tatsu then we'll be able to special summon out the tatsu use the effect of the tatsu which will get us some sends as we're going to send the attic the goblin and the mace and then we're going to use the attic in order to revive itself get the effect to bring back the goblin to hand from here we'll then be able to use the anguish in order to get ourselves the mace use the effect of the mace in order to get ourselves the fusion from here we can then activate the fusion this will give us the ability to go into the twin head as we'll then be able to use the effect of the twin and then get ourselves the copies of mace and trihorn by popping the goblin in hand so that is important to note you can pop from hand and that's just really nice as well giving you the flexibility to pop from wherever and not even needing to pop itself which means that you can save it for the fusion if you need something to pop but we're now going to be able to use the effect of the fusion pop the twin as we'll get ourselves another copy of fusion we'll then be able to revive goblin 
goblin, as we're then going to be able to use the effect of goblin, get ourselves Hatsu and the combined in the graveyard, as we'll then special summon out the Trihorn, go into Sprint again, as we're then going to use the effect. The second option that you have here is to go for Falco, so that Falco can revive itself, and then this gives you the ability to go into your El Shadal window. You can technically even go into Construct if you would like to, as we do have a light in hand. We're going to bring out Memento combined as well, and then during our opponent's turn, we have the ability to get the Fairy Witch off of the Memento land bind, and that can give us fusion materials as well, but there's just a lot of things that you can do here. Third combo, I'll be starting with just Fairy Witch, and we're going to continue here by normal summoning it, as we'll then be able to get the search in order to get our Tatsu, so you'll see how we have to do some steps earlier or even later, depending on the cards that we start with, as we're going to send the Mace, the Goblin, and the Attic, as we're then going to revive the Attic, use its effect in order to get back the Goblin, so really similar to our last combo, we're going to use the effect of the Anguish in order to bring back the Mace, and now we can use the Mace in order to get the Fusion. Now, we'll be able to activate the Fusion, as we'll then be able to get ourselves the copy of the Twin-Headed Dragon on board, use its effect in order to pop the Goblin in hand, get ourselves the two searches for the Mace and the Trihorn, get the effect of the Fusion to pop the Twin-Head, get ourselves another copy of the Fusion, use the effect of Twin-Head, bring back the Goblin, use the effect of Goblin to get our sons for the Dark Blade, or really any other Memento monster with a different name, along with the combined, then we'll be able to link away into SD or Sprint, whatever you want to go into with the Trihorn and the Attic, as we're then going to continue by using the Memento, or not using it, but just special summoning it, and then we'll be able to set the Memento Fusion and pass to our opponent combo. I just want to show off any Memento monster, plus the Tatsu, and this is just if you're learning the deck and you don't see any of your starters, you can still kind of just go with the flow of the Mace and the Tatsu, as we're going to use the effect of Tatsu here, we'll be able to special summon it, use its effect in order to get ourselves the Attic and the Goblin in the graveyard, as we happen to see the Mace, which means that we didn't get to send another unless you play another copy of it, but we're going to revive the Attic now, use that in order to get back the Goblin, we can now use the effect of Mace, which will give us the ability to get ourselves the Fusion, we can then activate the Fusion, go into our Twin Head, as we'll then be able to get the effect of the Twin Head popping the Goblin, and we'll get ourselves our two searches for the Mace and the Trihorn, as we're now going to be able to use the effect of the Fusion popping the Twin Head, get ourselves another copy of Fusion, use the effect of Twin Head to bring back the Goblin, use the effect of Goblin, which will get ourselves some extra sends here, special summon out the Trihorn, go into SP or Sprint, whatever you want to go into, we'll then be able to bring back our Memento combined, whatever it's called, as we'll then be able to set the Memento Fusion and pass on to our opponent. So a deck still heavily missing its support from Infinite Forbidden, but I think it's come a long way from where it was before when you were really just ending on the level 11 and praying that you didn't get hit with Imperm. That said, you'll notice that the Sprint is still in the side as an option over a main deck thing though, because there is still the chance that you could die to an Imperm like that. Though, I would like to mention that there is a chance that this could also be worth testing because it does make your opponent rely on double Imperm just because most of the times you're going to be able to get your memento into the grave you're at the level 11, but if they do hit the friend with the Imperm, it just means that this will be free for your opponent's turn, unless they happen to see the second copy of Imperm. Now, I would also like to point out something that you can do for the side deck going second, is playing a heavier Shadal fusion package if you're playing the Falco, so that you can go into the window, because it just means that you can play the three Shadal fusions, potentially send yourself an aerial along the light monster for the construct, and just give yourself more flexibility that that way. You can also play things like the gravity controller if you want to play this as well, but I just thought it'd be worth pointing out as an option. Another cool thing is that prosperity is an option that you can play if you choose to do that as well and search those out with thrust. So just little things like that that I would like to point out. There's also the other link monsters you can play like the charmers. You also have the relinquished anima. There's also the forbidden droplet which you can play over the super poly if you want to save the extra deck space as well. And then there's also the there can be only one which will probably be a side deck option for this. There's also the Memento Fracture Dance, which you can play if you don't want to play the Negate, the Cranium Burst. It really depends on what you want to do and what the format calls for. But outside of that, I don't really have much else to say about the deck. It's nice to be able to go into Guardian Chimera now. But really, it's just a deck that's focusing on going into your Twin Head, having the ability to go into your SP. 
Sometimes you may be able to go into the Herald of Mirage Lights with the Goblin and the Attic because they're both Dark Fiends. That said, it does require you to not use the effect of Goblin. It won't be something that you really go for every hand, but there will be hands where it does come up, and it'll just be a nice way to get yourself extra negation for a spell and trap card or effect, as long as you have the mace, which is easily searchable so that you can just discard that. With all of that out of the way, I'm just going to get onto the card by card, as we have the three copies of Dark Blade, the three copies of anguish we then have the three bone party which these are our starters here and the best cards to see but we then have the three copies of fusion the one burst one copy of rhoda another starter here we then have the one copy of one for one the one copy of called by the three copies of cross out so i would like to point out if you want to play two cross out and one called by and play two of one of these that works as well then we have the one field spell and i think this card is just crazy first effect really kind of doesn't matter it's just additional if a monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect which usually happens you can target one of those monsters special summon one memento monster with a lower level from your hand or graveyard so extender that can even get you back memento spell trap in your graveyard during the end phase so a really nice advantage card worth playing in my opinion then we have the one trihorn dragon we then have the one attic we then have the one goblin the mace the three tatsu the one combined we then have the three ash the three valor the three super poly the three imperm to round out the main deck and to the extra deck we have the goddess access code apo selene unicorn dark herald ip sp typhon which can also be one of your charmers or the relinquished anima it depends on if you want to play this or not then have the one guardian chimera dragos Topelia, twin head along with the mud dragon to round out the deck profile so for everyone who's made it this far, I'd like to thank you for watching and for the 700 plus subscribers. I truly appreciate your support. And now that we've monetized the channel, giving us access to supers and memberships means that more awesome stuff is on the horizon. To get the channel membership, just click on the description below and there will be a link that takes you there. You'll also notice a free Discord link that I've made for us too. If you want to support me as a content creator, even if you can't donate supers or get a membership for the channel, clicking on those thumbs up and subscribe buttons help a lot too. For those wondering, I do plan on making updates to the channel as the support on the channel grows. Anyways, I hope to see you on the next one. It's Bones signing